you've given a hundred thousand pounds, do you think you can go back to your home country, Nigeria? Why should I do that? No. Even if you give me a million pounds. I have more than hundred thousand pounds now. Is that what? I really like you to see this tribe, okay? And there is something to the world, have you seen it? Making it look like the entire Africa are just like these people. And I'm a fellow African, but it's quite discouraging that you know more about them. Please politely drop um, your comments at the section. I will be reading it as If given a hundred thousand pounds, do you think you can go back to your home country, Nigeria? Why should I do that? No. Even if you give me a million pounds. No, uh, it's not possible. No, no. No. I have more than 100,000 pounds now. Is that what? I don't even need a 100,000. Nigeria is very nice. So if given one opportunity, what would you change about your country, Nigeria? That's leadership. All the politicians. Uh, leadership. The leadership is kind of like poor. It's pretty messed up, can't lie. The system. What exactly do you not like about Nigeria? The leadership. The leadership. The leadership. And you? The leadership. Is that all? That's it. What, what's really bad about Nigeria that you can't go and stay? Education, really. Corruption is just uh, <laughs> it's a problem in Nigeria. Our leadership, they are rubbish. We, we have everything, everything. everything, everything. That everything. Nobody's supposed to be thinking yeah, of going out of yeah, Nigeria, yeah, yeah, yeah. but our leaders yeah. are the problem. Just to change the government and look for a better government. Once the politicians are gone, Nigeria should be great again. So and the leaders are the problem? Once you change the leadership, then the grassroots will begin to grow. People are suffering. People are dying. They are using 160 million to buy jeep. Jay, Jay, help us, help us. There is God. Hey guys, for me, I think <laughs> even if you give me one million dollars, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I will like to relocate to Nigeria because someday the one million dollars will be finished right good and trust me um sometimes it's not about us it's all about our kids i know a lot of people that have traveled to um canada canada us uk and um europe they tell you that they have a very good job in nigeria they are doing so well in nigeria but the truth is this they want to give their children a better life do you get it? Uh -huh. They want to give their children a better life. And trust me, when they relocate from five years and uh, from five years to ten years, the children will uh, become a citizen. They will obtain citizenship. Do you get it? So that will also give the kids better chances of becoming what they want to be in future. Do you get it? Because when such children finish uh, secondary school, it will not be difficult for them to secure a very better job. Yes, very better job because. Over there in Western world, once a child is um, 18 years, the child uh, can decide to, to, to rent an apartment outside. Do you get it? Because there is job. There is job. Like, there is job. Okay? There is job. The child don't need to start uh, mingling with uh, bad uh, friends. Or the child don't need to engage in any illegal business just to sustain himself or herself right so this child or this person once the child has uh, got into 18 years the child can uh, decide to look for job rent an apartment and be independent become independent i visited at the age of 21 22 23 the person can decide to get married and trust me there will be no issues, there will be no problem because uh, the government over there is working, the system is working. The government schools are free. You don't need to pay for your education, you don't need to pay for all that. And trust me, the quality of education over there is, is far much better, better than the private that we have here. I don't know if you are getting it. So most times, most uh, families, most parents, when they are traveling outside Africa, most times it's not all about them. Most times it's not about them. Obviously, they try to put their children into concentration. This is a system that when you are in the university, you are schooling, you'll also be working at the same time. You'll also be earning. Have you seen it? Once someone gets to 18 years, the person will begin to be independent. But here in Africa, at least the Nigeria that I know, you will see someone that is uh, 25 years still living in his or her parents' house. The reason is because there's no job. So where do you expect the person to get money to pay for accommodation and all that? Where do you expect the person to get money to take care of himself? You even see uh, most graduates earning 
um between a uh, 30 to 40,000 naira that is per month that is around um 300 to 400 Ghana cedis per month and these people may have children so that is it that is why when someone travels out there even if the person is suffering even if the person is suffering over there and you try to ask the person if he will accept a certain amount of money to come back the person will not agree because sometimes it's not about himself it's all about him it's all about the future of his or her, his or her children so how, how can you be paying a graduate um forty thousand like that's uh, 400 ghana cities and um and whereas those in abroad that's what thousand naira can be someone's um two two hours uh, salary do you get it the person can earn that money in two hours whereas this is how much they pay you per month the kids will eat you have to pay for um transportation to your workplace and other bills other bills sincerely what we need is a change of government or a good leader a good leader people are tired of suffering People are tired of suffering. Now there is protest over all over Africa. Nigeria is going to commence with protest. Ugandans, they're also preparing. Other African countries everywhere. Nobody is happy. Everyone is sad because of what is going on. People are sad. No one is smiling. We ain't smiling anymore. If these people can fix Africa, trust me, even if you give most people $1 million, they wouldn't want to leave Africa because Africa is blessed. So guys, there's this other video I really like you to watch. I really like you to see this tribe, okay? And there is something I would like to, to find out uh, more about this tribe. This um, Hearts of Bell tribe or something. I think they're in Ethiopia, right? Uh -huh. I don't really know, but I'm trying to um, make more research about these people. Now, these are the people that the Western world, people from the Western world always showcase to the world have you seen it making it look like the entire africa are just like these people i don't know if you're getting it good i'm making it look like the entire africans are just like these people no i don't i like i'm trying to make more findings about this this um so if there's no market in their country to know if um yes i know that they are small in population i want to know if a civilization hasn't reached this part of africa Mm, I would like to know if civilization hasn't touched this part of Africa. Yes, because of the way they dress, they behave as if they haven't seen lights before and stuff like that. And people that normally go to places like this are, are white. They go there like the tourists. Do more findings about them. Know the kind of food they eat. You see the kind of food they eat. You as an African will be discouraged. Trust me, you will be discouraged. Have you seen it? So I'm, I'm still making more findings about these people because I don't understand. Like almost all of them, like the ones I've been seeing on social media, all in fact, all of them they dress the same way. They do not wear good clothes. They don't eat good food. So I'm trying to find out uh, more about this tribe, more about these people. If they actually have um president, if they have um politicians, at least those that are civilized. If there is nobody to at least uh talk to them or speak to them do you get it and i will like to find out why do they also like to dress this way like i've seen the kind of food they eat i say oh my goodness like i'm not an american i'm a fellow african but it's quite discouraging because these are the reason why um this uh, westerners always uh, feel that we are all the same so when they see you they try to treat you somehow i don't know if you're getting it so let me not talk too much video and if you think that you know more about them please politely drop um your comments at the section i will be reading it as we all are here to learn right and welcome back so guys um how do you see these people and do you know more about them what do you think about this tribe what do you think about this tribe and i want to know more about them do they actually have markets do they have supermarkets mall where you buy things and all that is it that they are like for real they are primitive like for real or are they doing this for social media um attention simply because they want to gain attention from people like what do you think is the reason why they are dressing this way let's forget about the names i think that's their um native names yes we all have our native names like if i mention my own native name maybe if you are not from nigeria you will um be like 
uh, repeat it again, right? Good. Same way as you, if you mention your native name, it may sound somehow to me, right? So let's forget about your native names. Like, I even discovered that, I don't know if they actually brush. Is it a sin? Is it a sin? Is it a crime in their country? Or let me say the community, is it a crime to brush? I will even like to ask, do they actually take their bet? Do they really bet at all? Because both the guys and the ladies behave the same way. They dress the same way. I think for me, everything about them looks dirty. Let's forget about Africa. Like, let's forget about bring Africa. After all, nobody says that Africans are known to be dirty people, right? So why do they always um, dress this way? Why do they always um, appear this way? I don't know if you are getting my question. Do you have any answer to all this? I have never seen any of them looking neat. Both their women, their men, their children, they are all the same. They hardly brush as their teeth is always dirty. Their appearance, they appear to look dirty. The food they eat is not healthy. Their water, the drinking water is not healthy. So I don't know. Do you know much about this tribe? If any of you knows uh, much about this tribe, please kindly share with us, okay? Kindly share with us because I discovered that a lot of tourists, like white tourists, they always um, visit uh, places like this. They always visit this tribe, um, interview them, make videos with them, um, take photo shoots. Then they will come out and be um, showing to the world, then making their fellow whites to think that, wow, so there are people like this that even exist in this world. Have you seen it? Uh -huh. And so this is how Africans are. This is how Africa is. Africa, there's no water. There's no light. There's no this. There's no that. So if you think that you know um, much about this tribe, please don't forget to drop your comments as I will be reading them. Okay? We all are here to learn. I love you so much. Medawasi. Thank you so much for always being here for me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channels. I still remain your girl just cheesy. May Darcy. Bye.